Morning traders, so it was a pretty quiet session on the US markets overnight. Everyone seems to be waiting for Jerome Powell's testimony later today in the US session. Um, US markets ended up mixed. Dow was up slightly, S&P up slightly, NASDAQ slightly down. One bright spot on the NASDAQ was Apple uh, ra rallying over 2% on, on an upgrade from Goldman Sachs analysts. They called a buy rating and it gave it a target of 199. Um, FX, not much action. US dollar was mostly stronger. One major exception was the euro, and it, which that rallied very strongly after um, comments from the Austrian central bank chief who called for 450 basis point hikes out of the ECB over the next four meetings, basically. So um, quite hawkish coming from here. He's not a voting member of the ECB, but still has some sway. So I uh, did see the euro rally pretty strongly against all crosses on that, uh, against the US dollar, just touching on the 107 handle. Commodities, oil rallied. Uh, above $80 a barrel, looks set to test the top end of its 2023 range, which has been a pretty strong resistance up till now. Gold pulled back from its recent gains. Uh, stronger US dollar didn't help. Also, uh, bond yields continue to be high, which is also a, a bit of a headwind for gold. Um, economic news, big one today. RBA is coming out with a rate decision at 2.30 p.m. Sydney time. Now, the market's pricing in a 75% chance of another 25 basis point hike, which should be the 10th in a row. So um, any Aussie dollar traders out there, just watch that around 2.30. There probably will be some volatility in that uh, with that statement and that figure coming out. Um, early in the US session, as you said before, Jerome Powell will be testifying. Now, traders are going to be watching this really closely to see if they can get any clues as to the Fed's next move. So uh, certainly expect a, a more exciting, more volatile session tonight.